we would be starting with the set of 20 questions and with this 20 questions these would be covering the contemporary topics that we have for today and within these contemporary topics that we have been covering uh, we'll be trying to touch most of the recent happenings for your environment and geography as always there would be two surprise gifts for the best uh, two correct answers you will have to email us uh, your name and details at contact us at examrace.com just mentioned in the um, comment above so just check it out uh, there is sound now so just check back i don't think there is any sound issues okay so coming on to the first question i have a lot of answers before we begin with so uh, the answers are not correct <laughs> in any case so zameen has a right answer that's b a is not a correct answer so you have leh which is the highest airport of india Pekong, a lot of you have marked it and that was willingly we have put up this question because Pekong is a new airport that has been set up and the first airport of Sikkim. Okay, and uh, this is the fifth highest. The highest one that has that is there is the one that's in Leh. So Leh is the correct answer. So for the first question, B is the correct answer. Next question we have, which of these is the 11th Biosphere Reserve of India? So uh, the question here, the 11th Biosphere Reserve. Now this is a question again there, no, Panchmani is not the correct answer Subhash. Uh, so we have already the 10 biospheres that are there. The 11th one has been recently announced. Neha uh, Sabrish, you have a lot of you with correct answers because so Kanchanjunga Biosphere Reserve is the 11th Biosphere Reserve that has been established. Now the next question that we are coming up is the surprise question. So I am looking for the first correct answer for the next question. Which of the following is not an unconventional hydrocarbon? So you have the four choices for question number three. Looking for the correct one for question number three the correct answer looking for the first correct answer for question number three uh, rohit has an answer sabrish has an answer i am looking for more answers subhash has the first correct answer so subhash just email your details at contact us at exam race so uh, you have the correct answer gasoline shale gas shale oil coal bed methane and uh, gas hydrates all of those are non-conventional hydrocarbons non-conventional hydrocarbons are ones which are not uh, basically extracted through a normal means you have fracking fracturing which are commonly used uh, the hydraulic actions which are used hydraulic activity which are used for these ones so you have uh, shale gas shale oil and coal bed methane as the unconventional hydrocarbon which is not here is the gasoline the next question here is where is the c-band doppler weather radar system proposed again a very very important question so question number four looking for the correct answers you have the c-band doppler weather radar system that has been recently approved and established at no b is not the correct answer so you have been going through the news but that's where you are struck in tiruvananthpuram you have the cyclone warning system that has been established and the first c band doppler weather radar system has been established in mangalore so mangalore is the correct answer so far none of you landed with the correct answer so read the news very very carefully i believe a lot of you have been reading the news because a lot of you have been marking Tiruvananthpuram as the answer. Tiruvananthpuram you have the cyclone weather center that has been established. Again I repeat and the C band Doppler weather radar system has been established in uh, Mangalore. So Mangalore is the correct answer. Good. So the next question here is which satellite has been recently launched to measure the depth of the ice sheet melting? A very important question again. Question number five you have uh, the choices and I'm looking for the first correct answer there. Question number five. Question number five, even if it's buffering, I can just let you know the choices. So you have ISET 2, ISPAT 4, ICMA 3 and ICMIS 2. So looking for the correct answer for question number five, which satellite has been launched recently 
to measure the true depth of ice sheet melting question number 5 the correct answer is a great uh, great sumit rohit uh, neha and a lot of you now okay so i set is the correct answer i set 2 you have the recent satellite that has been launched of recent so you have i set 2 as the correct answer that's a great the next question which is an alternative to affordable transportation by using compressed bio gas and this is again a surprise question for you so looking for the first correct answer for question number c i hope the questions are visible now so you have question number c which is an alternative to affordable transportation by using compressed biogas question number c the right answer i believe the first right answer was by mercy so mercy just email your details and that's good you have satat satat is sustainable alternative towards affordable transportation and you have d as the correct answer so for question number 6 the alternative name is satat that is sustainable alternative towards affordable transportation the next question is question number 7 what is the target to create an additional carbon sink or under the intentionally determined national goals so you have the indcs so nationally determined goals what are the uh, targets for the carbon sink equivalent by 2030 so question number 7 looking for the first correct answer uh on question number 7 looking for the first correct answer just mark the question number along with the answer so we have uh chetna has the first correct answer so it's 2.5 to 3 billion tons of carbon dioxide equivalent so carbon dioxide equivalent really really a very important question for your upcoming examination the next question that we have is on biofuels recently we have covered a class on biofuels and that's the national biofuel policy so just go through that we have discussed the first generation second generation and the third generation uh, biofuels now here which of the following is not a first generation biofuel looking for the correct answer for question number 8 no anjali that's not the correct answer looking for question number 8 the correct answer question number 8 c would great so lot of you chetna chetna doing really good so you have lot of those with correct answers so wood is a second generation biofuel starchy food sugar cane sweet sorghums all those are first generation biofuels recently you have the national biofuel policy that has been released and therefore first generation second generation and third generation biofuels very very important we have one more question coming up on biofuel and therefore i won't discuss a lot here the next question a very important question you all might have heard of that prime minister was recently awarded the champion of earth award uh, by united nations but why he was awarded this so the question comes why and you have the choices here so looking for the first correct answer for question number 9 very very important question question number 9 a great devyani so that's the pledge to eliminate a single use plastic in india by 2022 so that's for the single use plastic not, not for swachh bharat not for new india transforming india or anything else so that's really really good shin doing great hope you are too so let's move on to the next question which is not a code for air quality index a very important question in light of the delhi smog and the delhi air pollution recently in news a lot of correct answers for question number 9 so moving on to question number 10 we have the air quality index that's there and uh, the various colors that are indicated so anjali devyani have the correct answers great so white is not the part of the code for your air quality index you have the clearest air which is green and slowly and gradually transform forming to yellow orange and red which is considered the worst air so in terms of the pollutants okay so you have c as the uh, sorry d as that's white as the answer here 
The next question is the air quality warning system has been developed by again a very important question question number 11 in light of again the Delhi air pollution you have the Delhi air monitoring system the air warning system that has been established so question number 11 looking for the first correct answers for question number 11 uh, no uh, Question number 11, Sabrish has the correct answer D. Okay, so you have National Meteorological Department, National Center for Medium Range Weather Forecasting. Now again there can be a question where is this center located? So National Center for Medium Range Weather Forecasting is located in Noida. Again there could be a question where you have the Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology. So that's in Pune. So all three of these together have developed the air quality warning system and therefore this is a very very important question. All of the above is the correct answer for this question. The next is what is the permissible limit for carbon monoxide to be inhaled? A very important question, question number 12 again. So I'll just discuss the limits for your carbon monoxide, particulate matter 2.5, uh, nitrogen dioxide and sulfur dioxide. So for 12, looking for the first correct answer, no, uh, so no correct answers so far for 12. No, it seems all of you. So, Shelja has the right answer. So, it's 4 milligrams per meter cube. That's the correct level or the permeable level of carbon monoxide. Then you have particulate matter 2.5. You have the permeable limits as 60 micrograms per meter cube. Uh, nitrogen dioxide, the permeable limits are 80 micrograms uh, per meter cube. And sulfur dioxide, the correct permeable limits are 80 micrograms per meter cube. So those are really important. Again, I say in light of Delhi smog, we have covered a lecture on Delhi smog and Lancet Commission report. Again, very, very important for your upcoming examination. So just keep it in mind. The next is question number 13. Very important question again. So you have graded response action plan, which is also known as GRAP, has been rolled out to compete which issue. So question number 13, looking for first correct answer. Question number 13, no, B is not the correct answer, Prabhat. So, uh, Ashok has the right answer, that's air pollution. And this GRAP or Graded Response Action System, action plan has been released or rolled out in Delhi uh, on a trial basis first and then on uh, again uh, on next basis. So, basically rolled out again. So, you have uh, A, that's air pollution, again in light of the Delhi air pollution. So that's really, really an important topic as you can see the amount of weightage that has been there. Now question number 14, we have list of stadiums that are here, uh, that's under the Sports Authority of India. You have to tell which of the stadiums have been declared plastic free zones. So looking for the first correct answer for question number 14, you have a group or the set of options here. So don't mark it as 1, 2, 3, 4 choose from the choices of A, B, C, D. So that's a kind of different question from usual. So A is not the correct answer, Prabhat. Uh, uh, no, no. So a lot of incorrect answers. Okay, so all has been marked. So Minu was good to have. Uh, no, C is the correct answer. Okay, so all of those are the correct stadium so five stadiums have been declared as plastic free zones by sports authority of india and those are jawaharlal nehru stadium dhyanchand stadium indira gandhi stadium karni singh shooting range and spm swimming pool complex so all of those have been declared as plastic free zones very very important also know in which uh, city they are located in the next uh, very very important question isro recently had green propellant which is used and which of the following has the green propellant or which of these is considered as a green propellant so question number uh, 15 looking for the correct answer question number 15 uh, Devyani has a request on lecture on relations so definitely I already received your mail so that's an under process so we'll be covering that soon so question number 15 A is the correct answer a lot of you with A great so hydroxyl ammonium nitrate is considered as a green propellant and has been used by ISRO recently again a very important question uh, that's coming up Recently, you have environmental single window hub that has been launched 
for environment, forest, wildlife and the coastal regulation zone clearances on the occasion of World Biofuel Day. Now this day is celebrated on 10th August. So what is the name of this single window hub that has been launched? Great. So Prabhat has the right answer so, uh, here. So Parivesh is the uh, single environmental window hub that has been named. So great going Prabhat. So you have uh, B as the correct answer here. Question number 16. The next is question number 17. India's first environmental friendly flight that has been launched between Delhi and Dehradun has been using which propellant? So question number 17 looking for the first correct answers. Uh, Hari, uh, Harjinder has a question on English net. So English net uh, questions and uh, material is available on doorstep tutor. You can just check back. So you have question number regional planning Ramakant will be definitely taking into consideration. Question number uh, Richa Deepti has the correct answer. Chetna, great. So Jetropa seats and aviation turbine fuel are the correct answers. So Jetropa seats are basically uh, considered as a kind of environmental friendly uh, propellant that would be used and this along with aviation fuel was used in the first flight a 43 minute flight from Delhi to Dehradun. The next question is which report was submitted for pollution that affected Taj Mahal? A very important question question number 18 again which committee gave its recommendation for pollution affecting Taj Mahal? So that was basically the oil refinery the tourism that's being affecting that region and whole lot of factors that are there. So uh, a detailed report that was given great CK Mishra. So Prabhat Abish, uh, and Ashok have the correct answers here. So CK Mishra report was submitted for pollution affecting Taj Mahal. So C is the correct answer here. The next question again I talked about the biofuel policy and I said that we have one question coming up so here that is there so which of the following is considered as a cheapest fuel with highest number of non food sources that are being used question number 19 looking for the first correct answer and then you have a similar question that's our final question now this would significantly decrease our dependence on the oil imports that are there so you have question number 19 uh, B methanol great Prabhat good going Prabhat so you have methanol as the correct answer that's B Pratyusha again has the right answer there so very very important one of the cheapest fuels with highest number uh, of non-food sources from which it can be obtained the more we won't be discussing we have the next question that follow on so which of those are the benefits of using methanol as a fuel the last question that we have for today uh, the uh, final question here question number 20 looking for the correct answers so Anjali great so it has higher octane it has higher flash point and burns cooler and therefore it's used as a fuel so benefits of methanol we have discussed we have talked about it's one of the cheapest fuels and has been widely used so that was our lecture on uh, the questions that we have discussed on environment and geography in the coming sessions we would be talking about expected question series so since your exams are starting from 18 December we'll be covering a whole lot of topics before your 18 December examination and also next Tuesday we'll be meeting again with your teaching and research questions a lot of students have mailed me the doubts so definitely we will also be having some doubt resolution sessions before your uh, examination is there might be they won't be a kind of live interactive sessions but yes we would upload the videos with the doubts that are coming up and yes Devyani I do remember you have mailed me regarding the symmetric and the asymmetric uh, uh, relations so we'll definitely try to cover those as well on priority uh, possibly before your your net examination for all the topics that you want to be covered uh, before your net examination feel free to just drop an email with all your doubts all your topics that you require me to cover and we'll try our best to cover as much as possible before your upcoming lectures so uh, sorry upcoming examination so have a great day ahead